Broker IPTV. Today we're talking with Tom Yaswa. He is a renovation loan specialist. Tell me about how do you get a renovation loan and what is it exactly? Well, basically it's like any other loan that you're gonna qualify for. Yeah. The difference being is that we're gonna loan you the money to purchase and renovate a house and we're gonna do it all with one loan and one close. Okay, so there's not a loan to buy the house and then another loan to go get some no. money to improve it. It's all lumped in one. All put into one loan. And who's it offered by? Uh, well, there's there's probably several lenders that do it. There are very few that really specialize in it. Right. And it's primarily done through FHA, correct? Uh, FHA, there is a conventional product, but oh, right now, is? but right now, probably 80% of my loans are FHA. All right. And it's called a 203K loan through FHA, right? 203K loan. Yep. All right. Explain how that works. Well, basically, you know, you have someone that wants to buy a house. Maybe it's a bank foreclosure or something like that that might need a new kitchen, new flooring, mm -hmm. new roof, new windows. It could be just about anything. And what we're going to do is basically loan them the money to purchase. You know, they get it under contract, and then there's an escrow that we set up uh, post-close from which they draw from to do the fix-ups in the house. All right, how do you determine how much they get to use to fix it up? Well, a, a lot of times it just depends on you know what the issues are with the house. A lot of times we have an inspection that's done. Mm -hmm. uh, the home inspector might go in and have a whole laundry list of things that need to be done. Other times they might just have two or three things, and it's, it's a simple one. So it really just kind of depends on the house. So do you know going in ahead of time before you give the loan how much work of repair needs yes. to be done? Yeah, that, that, that's the key is that before we close the loan, we have a work repair escrow or a bid from a contractor and then we close the loan based on that bid and my appraisal is done with that bid in mind subject to the repairs that are being made. Do you, and then after they close, do they have to use that contractor? Uh, pretty much. I mean, many times they've already got somebody in line, but uh, you know, there are people that want to change after the fact, but typically they use the same contractor. All right. Now, after the close, do you just hand the customer a check? How do they get the money? No, that, that's not necessarily how it works. I mean, to kind of protect the customer against their contractor, we put their money into an escrow account, right? and then they draw money out of the escrow account for the repair. So the, a lot of times there is an inspector involved and, and things like that. So if I'm reading you correctly, let's say some repairs are done, the contractor submits a bill to the bank who's mm -hmm. holding the escrow mm -hmm. account. Yep. The bank then cuts the check to the contractor for the repairs he did. More or less. Yeah, there, there's, there's a draw process and there's photos that have to be taken. Mm -hmm. You know, things have changed a little bit over the last few years. So, more. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's a little bit more intensive than, than just that. But, you know, there are forms. They fill it in. They get their money within 72 hours. All right. What benefit is this to realtors? Well, I mean, the realtors, you know, it's, it's a whole different animal for them because it's another notch in their belt, I like, I like to say. Um, it's a product that a lot of them don't know about. Mm. So if you're a realtor and you got a listing that, uh, that is in need of repair and you know it's in need of repair, maybe it was a house that hasn't been, you know, uh, that's cosmetically challenged, hasn't been touched in 30 years. Yeah. It's a way to maybe, you know, put it into their listing or into the MLS. Uh, in other ways, it's beneficial because the customers that they're working with they know about this loan, and if they find a house that needs repair, then they have they know about the loan, and you know we yeah. go from there. So instead of the buyer walking in and walking out after they see the place, go precisely. Well, wait, there's money that can be set aside to fix this yeah, in that, your loan. That's exactly what I do, and that's exactly the way that I present it to realtors. Tom, thanks. Great information. Appreciate right. it. Thanks, Dan. Find more real estate videos at BrokerIPTV.com.